Welcome Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a Twin Flame love reading. This is intended for Twin Flames. However, even if you don't identify with that specific term but you were intuitively drawn here, the messages could resonate for you. I am going to be referring to Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine. The Masculine, regardless of gender, we're not talking about male or female, we're talking about energies. The Masculine is the person less awoken, usually running from this connection. The Feminine is the one more in tune with it. Um, all right, so um, timestamps are always in the description box below. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What needs to be known, seen, and understood? What is the energy here it's between the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, please? What needs to be known, seen, and understood? Okay. Under here, we do have separation. So you guys actually may be separate from each other right now, or there's been you know, some kind of pause in this connection, kind of an element of waiting, maybe even being ghosted for some of you. All right, we have Muse. So some of you actually could be artists as well. We have Received. We have Numbing. The Card of Spring. Purge. And Admired. And to be honest with you, I feel like you inspired this masculine. I feel like this person has put you on a pedestal, sees you as the most beautiful, creative, inspiring person, someone who is so kind and, and, and generous, beautiful inside and out, somebody that they want to be like. This person, I almost feel like they feel this unworthiness or they felt that in the past and past relationships. I think this person's very hard on themselves. And again, we don't justify negative actions, behaviors, etc. here. We don't do that bull crap. We're just here for a specific reason. You already know what you think and feel and want. You want to know if this person's wasting your time. What do they think and how do they justify their own actions and their perspective at least. Um, so yeah, I feel like this person is inspired by you, you know, and they, you know, want to feel worthy of you. I think that they're receiving confirmation from the universe, you know, that they are worthy that they are capable of making these changes for themselves i also feel like some of you are receiving communication from this person and confirmation in songs you know, seeing their names and things like that in places i think your person may have tried to kind of numb themselves out from this connection but i also feel like in separation with the pain that's here you both have kind of tried to do that tried to kind of stop thinking so much about each other you know tried to kind of stay busy or stay preoccupied but both of you kind of keep reflecting back and constantly be reminded of each other and i also feel like springtime is really significant relevant it could be your birthday or theirs okay again this is general and um crossfighters are always welcome here but it also could be a significant time of meeting of coming together it could have even represented a time where you guys is connected so for you for one of you spring could hold significance okay again this could be for 10 of you 100 of you a thousand of you with purge here, I feel like this person is cleansing themselves. Trying to rid themselves of any kind of toxic behaviors or patterns that they had held on to. Possibly even trying to get rid of some unhealthy coping mechanisms that they've had to kind of numb them from the past. But again, I feel like this person just admires you. They just feel like you are the most beautiful or handsome person they've ever laid their eyes on they're just so captivated by you nobody holds a candle to you they see you as everything graceful beautiful strong confident they don't feel they maybe don't feel deserving of you all right so let's look at your divine masculine first and foremost their thoughts about you in this connection their feelings for you in this situation their intentions or what they feel needs to happen as well as the actions that the divine feminine can expect from him okay so his thoughts about the feminine and their connection what does he think about this page of swords now there could be a younger air sign involved gemini libra aquarius he may feel that there's a child involved but i also think that this masculine doesn't really know what the feminine is thinking i think that he is trying to get information. I think that he's trying to figure out some creative way to spy on her if there is separation here. Now, some of you are going to sit here in the comments and go, well, I don't even have social media. We're not even friends online. You do not have to have a Facebook or a Twitter or whatever to for someone to watch you, okay? They can go to your YouTube account and look at your liked photo videos or something to see what you've been up to, what you've been watching. Some of them 
maybe asking friends and family about you. They can be just simply Google searching your name. If you don't happen to even use social media or you keep everything locked and private, they can be going to your company's website, looking at picnic photos, seeing if you're in the, the company bake sale pictures. You know, they're trying to, they're, they're going to get creative. How can I find out what's going on with my feminine? They're trying to figure out, they're thinking, you know, what's going on with her? What is she thinking? What is she feeling? Is there someone else? Is she still interested in me? Is, you know, is this going to work out for us? How do I approach the situation? You know, wanting more information. What is their feelings, please? They feel like they need to make some kind of formal offer or commitment to you, possibly uh, pass some kind of message to you about um, their situation. I'm feeling like what they've been doing, like they want to, they want you to be proud of them. That's what I'm feeling. Something about like, look what I've been doing. I've been working really hard. I got a promotion. You know, I am, you know, putting things away. I, you know, I'm, I'm buying nice things. I'm kind of getting things in order. Like I'm, they, they want to show you. Some, they want to show you like their hard work, their their determination, like what they've been building doing it's like um, they're like showing it off it's like there's some kind of pride in this like look what i've done you know like they want to show you that they're worthy or something they feel like you deserve everything what do they feel you need one more clarifying card for their feelings please what do they feel about the situation they miss you there's di there, yeah there's separation here with it okay you guys are apart at this time or there's been a past separation. There's like grievance here. They miss you. They they feel like they missed an opportunity. And they want to like try again, but they know it's got to be something solid. They have to, if they're going to come to you, they feel like they have to give you something more. Something that you can trust. What is their intentions? What do they intend to do here? What are, they, what are their intentions? Commitment, marriage, four of wands, 11, 11, twin flame energy. Their intention is to propose potentially for some of you or to, or move in together, build a home, a life together. Some of you even combine families if you have children. All right, their actions, what can you expect from him? Ending something, ten of swords, something that's being ended. One more. Sun. They could be anything specifically with a Leo for some of you, or they're putting an end to kind of keeping you in the dark, and they're going to actually start telling you more. The sign can be like illuminating things, like showing you something, giving, telling you, not not keeping you in the dark. It's like, this is what's been going on. This is what I've been doing. This is what I've been thinking. All right, let's look at the Divine Feminine. Her thoughts about the connection, her masculine, her, how she may view the connection, her feelings for the situation. Her intentions or what she feels needs to happen from him, as well as the actions or advice about her potential actions from spirit. Okay, so her thoughts. Communication. She wants to know if she should reach out to the masculine. She could be thinking about a message that he has already sent or will be sending soon and how she should respond. You know, if she should say something from, to him, like she, it's like she almost like she, there's so much she wants to tell him or wants to kind of talk about, discuss with him. Her feelings. She feels, again, I feel like there's just, I want to clear the air energy here from her. It's like there's so much that was left unsaid that we need to discuss. Now, she could see him again strongly as um, an air sign. But I also strongly have Earth here. Leo energy could be any sign. But it's like she wants to be, she feels like she needs to be very direct, very clear with him about what she thinks, what she feels, what she wants. She feels like he's someone who definitely knows how to take action. Like she does see him in like somebody who can make anything happen. And so if he wants this connection, she's very aware that he knows what to do to make it work, to make, to make this come together. Her intentions are what she feels needs to happen here. Some kind of conflict or fighting for this. She may feel like he needs to work hard to fight for this. She may also be hoping that she can avoid any kind of conflict here from anyone who maybe has something negative to say about this connection that's intentionally trying to keep them apart. Advice about her potential actions. The star. This is a card of healing, patience, balance. Aquarius energy. This can also signify twin flame reunion. So... Yeah, under the deck here is the two of coins with the two of cups and the full. So yeah, there's a decision. It's, it's like some of you, this masculine could be fearful because if he is somehow already committed in some way or living with someone or has some kind of custody or ch children involved, 
That could be part of his fear because it's like he's looking at both coins. I, he's got a decision to make. If I drop this coin, I'm going to be unbalanced holding, holding this one. If I drop this coin, I'll be unbalanced. There's no safety net. You know, he has to make a decision. Okay, but right now he's kind of just balancing. You know, if he takes that risk, he could fall. He's calculating his next move. He's trying to be cautious with it. There's obviously love here, a deep understanding about each other, and a risk to be taken. Somebody who like, feels like a puppet on a string, Aries energy. I feel like this is coming together. This masculine is making a decision here. He's ending something to pursue the feminine. And her wish is coming true. If she wants to fight for it, it's there. He admires her. Again, the star is somebody who's incredibly beautiful, alluring, captivating. The star is someone who's very healing, very abundant. She walks into the room and everyone pays attention, takes notice. All right, what are some of these obstacles and challenges here? We have courthouse, main female, and unexpected income. Yep. So this masculine definitely has someone they're involved with. If now like physically could be married to this person, or this person is has been the main female in their life because they're they're their child's mother or something, or even their mother for some of them. But there's some kind of legal contract that balances this person in a situation. They're trying to put it into that. They want commitment with the feminine. That's who they want. But they have to make a decision how to hold on to their money. There could be a lot of money here at stake. Okay. Let me see. Let's pull cards here and see what else. Nobody compares to their feminine. For yourself, it's time to take back control of your life. And then here we have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and they are worth exploring with keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. So yeah, I definitely feel like this person does know that their feelings for you are unlike anything else. Like they kind of put their feminine on a pedestal. There's nobody who compares to her. Whatever they're dealing with, whoever they've been dealing with, they don't want to be there. They're like inspired to be a better version, to be stronger, to, to do more, to achieve more. Some of them are working really hard to build some kind of business. And they're kind of afraid now that they've done this or they're working on this, that they're... Fem that they're person okay is going to keep them from their feminine and even maybe even take money from them okay let's see here okay this one's going to flying out and i feel like we need one more too okay so i'll show you the pictures everyone loves these cards okay so this one says Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow the joy of uh, into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. I feel like this masculine has felt incredibly discouraged for some time. Like trying to numb themselves. They need to purge that energy. Like they are trying to kind of like, the, they're inspired by you. Like I can, ha I can truly be happy. It's possible. The separation happened because they were afraid in the past. But I think this person's kind of realizing that their situation is not permanent. If they're unhappy, they can make those changes. They do have the power. You see them as having the power. You feel that they, they can do anything that they set their mind to. And this one says, a message for you. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. And I just saw 1333 as I was reading that. So some of you could be seeing that as a confirmation. Um, but I, I see like there's a message coming from your person. And they want to kind of know what you're thinking. Like, you know, they want to know more about you. I think they've been trying to watch you online. They've been trying to figure things out about you. And they're they're communicating. Now you're trying to figure out how you want to respond and what you want to say to them. Be very direct. Be very honest with them about what, what you think and what you feel, what you want. Because I feel that this person does kind of want the same things. But they have felt discouraged in the past. Almost like they couldn't get it done. They were afraid of failing. They were afraid of the difficulties. They thought their life was going to doomed to kind of be this repetitive unhappy situation but it's not and if anything you're inspiring them that they can make these changes they can be happy in the end this wish is still possible to become reality the feelings that you share for each other are mutual they're thinking of you and they are thinking of your future together i think this person's coming in to tell you that they're ending things and that they're going to be very clear about what they feel and their actions i feel that this person does want commitment here with you 
but they're trying to figure out how to get things in order, how to make this work, because there are obvious obstacles and challenges here, though you both do feel the same. I feel like spring is really relevant in your connection, and I know that, you know, um, this is, you know, general, so obviously your time frames could be different for each of you, but there is significance in the time of spring. So whenever you're viewing this, this can represent past, present, or future, regardless of whatever the time says on top of the reading, okay? You're all on different timelines. You, you will find the message when you're meant to hear it. But there's hope here. And I think that this person is actually going to message you specifically to tell you that they've been thinking of you. So... That's what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for um, sending in donations. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.